Hi all, welcome back to new video. So let's discuss about how to manage batch payment in OD16 accounting module. Batch payment is a process of grouping multiple customer invoices or vendor bills to make the payment in a single click. So there are two types of batch payment that is inbound as well as outbound. Inbound allows the users to group uh, the customer invoices into a group and outbound uh, allows you to group multiple vendor bills. So this can be explained through an example. Just consider you own a restaurant and uh, you purchase groceries and other items to your restaurant every day. So you won't be paying or you won't be making payment every day uh, as it makes very difficult. So you will collect all the bills and group it together and in a batch you will be making the payment. So let's check how to manage batch payment in Auto 16 accounting module. You can handle the batch payments from the configuration settings of accounting module. So just get into the configuration settings and just scroll down so that you can see a feature called batch payments under customer payments. So we need to enable to manage the batch payments. So you can enable the feature and save the settings. So batch payments allow you to group payments into a single batch to ease the reconciliation process. And once you enable this feature, you can manage the batch payments for both customers and vendors. And the option will be available under both customers uh, tab and vendors tab. So now we can see um, batch payments under customers. Now let's take the batch payments. Currently, we don't have any payments that are reconciled. So let's remove the filtration. So there are no uh, batch payments. We need to create a new batch payment. So in order to create a new batch payment, you can click on new button. So currently the batch type is configured by Odoo as inbound. So whenever you take uh, the batch payment under customer, Odoo will automatically create the batch type as inbound. So inbound allow you to group multiple customer invoices. And now you can choose the journal that is the bank. And under batch type inbound, there are two payment method that is manual and uh, batch deposit. So first, let's demonstrate with the batch, uh, I mean, payment method as manual. And here you can see the data set as today's date. And we can also get a reference number once you save the customer's batch payment. So Odo will automatically configure the uh, reference number once you save the batch. So under batch content, you can fill the details of uh, the payment like uh, with the name, date, customer or vendor, reference or amount. So when you click on add a line here, currently we don't have any payments. So first we need to create payments. So in order to create payments, we can go and go to the customer's invoices. So let's use invoices. So here are there are number of payments. Now let me create payment. So you can fill the details with the customer that is uh, recording and you can set the invoice date and you can choose a product. So let me choose a product that is customizable desk and let me remove the tax. So the customizable desk cost 750. Now uh, let me confirm the invoice and here you can see that after confirming the invoice the invoice will move from the draft state to the posted state. Now you need to make the payment. So in order to make the payment, you can click on register payment and you can choose the journal that is bank and choosing the payment method as manual. Now if the amount for the uh, product is 750 and the payment date is mentioned in the register payment and you can also see a memo that is the invoice reference number. Now let's click on create payment so that you can see now if the invoice is in, in payment state. So after reconciliation, we can see that the payment will be moving to the bank. So now we are demonstrating a batch payment. So a batch will contain multiple payments. So we need to create a new payment again. So you can click on new and yeah, let's create another invoice. So let me choose another customer. And we can choose another product. So let the product be whiteboard pen. And you can set the price here. So let it be 20. Now repeat the uh, same steps. That is you can save the invoice. Now currently the invoice is in draft state. Now click on confirm so that 
the invoice will be moving from the draft state to the posted state and you can click on register payment so that you can see a wizard will be open for registering the payment uh, with the journal as bank and payment method as manual with the amount 20. Now you can click on create payment so that uh, the invoice is moved to the in payment state. Now we need to reconcile the payment. So let's back to the customer's batch payments and we can see a batch is created with the amount as zero because we haven't added any payments in this batch. Now we need to add the batch content. So click on add a line and you can see that there will be two payments available right now with a total of 770. Now you can choose both the payments. Now select the payments and when you save this you can see that now the customer batch payments is in new state now we need to uh, send uh, the customer ba batch payment so when you click on validate button you can see that the batch will be moving from the new state to the send state now we need to reconcile this uh, batch payments so in order to reconcile the batch payment first we need to create a statement and uh, in order to create the statement, you can move into the dashboard and get into the bank. And we can create a batch, I mean a, a statement. So before creating the statement, we need to know the reference number of the batch. So let's copy the reference number of the batch. Because we uh, will be setting the reference number as a label. So let me create a new uh statement so we need to set the label as the reference number of the batch and here you can set the total amount in the batch so the total amount in the batch is 770 and here you can save uh, the statement now here we can see an option of batch payments so when you move to batch payments here you can see that a batch is available with the total amount now you can select the statement and when you back to the uh, batch payments here, you can choose the batch and you can click on validate button so that the statement will be reconciled against the batch. And you can see that the batch will be reconciled under batch payments. So uh, you can see that now the batch has moved into the reconciled state. Now we can create another batch. So we can create another batch with the journal as bank. And you can choose the payment method as batch deposit. Now let's save the batch so that you can see that a reference number is created and you can add uh, the batch content. So there will be no batch content right now. So we need to repeat the steps uh, as that of uh, the payment method with manual. So let's go to the customer invoices and you can click on new to create a new invoice by filling, filling the details of customer and you can add the product so let me add the product as screw and uh, you can add the price and letting the price to be 10. now you can save the invoice and click on confirm so that the invoice will be moving from the draft state to the posted state and you can click on register payment and here you can see the journal uh, as bank and you need to change the payment method as batch deposit now you can see the amount is set as 10 by odoo now click on create payment so that now the invoice is in in payment state. Now we also need to create another uh, invoice because we know that a batch will contain multiple invoices that is uh, multiple payments. Now you can choose uh, another customer that is Jimny Furniture and you can add the product. So let the product be bold and you can set the price for the bold as 50 now let me confirm the invoice and you can click on register payment here we need to change the payment method that is batch deposit now click on create payment so that the invoice is in now in payment state now you can go to the batch payments and you can see that uh, we have created a batch with the amount zero now we need to add the uh, batch so in order to add the uh, payments in the batch you can click on uh, like you can click on the payments that is you can select the payments and uh, here you can see the total amount is 60 and you can select the payments now 
you can validate this so that the cust uh, the batch payment will be moving from the send state to I mean from the new state to the send state. And let me copy the reference number to reconcile this. So in order to reconcile, you can just dive into the dashboard and just jump into the reconcile. Uh, and that is to the bank and you need to create a statement. So we here we are going to set the label as the reference number of the batch. And we know that the total amount in the batch is 70. Uh, was it 70, right? Uh, so let's confirm that is 70 itself. Sorry, it's 60. So let's back to the uh, dashboard and you can choose the reconcile items. Now let's create a statement with the reference number and the amount is 60. So you can create a statement and under batch payments you can see that uh, the a batch is here. Now you need to uh, reconcile the statement against the batch payment. So you can choose the statement and when you back to the batch payments here you can select the batch payment. Now you can click on Valid. So when you select the batch, you can see the payments in the batch. That is, uh, we have two payments with an amount of 50 as well as 10 respectively. Now we can click on validate button so that when you back to the batch payments here, we can see that the batch is reconciled now. Now we can also make um, batch payments for vendors. So under vendor, you can see an option of batch payments. In order to create a new vendor batch, you can click on new and here you can see that the batch type is set as outbound. So whenever you choose the uh, when, I mean batch payment under vendor, you can see that auto will automatically configure the batch type as outbound, which means that uh, outbound help you to group multiple vendor bills. Now you can set the bank and uh, Outbound batch type provide three types of payment method that is manual, checks and NACHA. So we will be only demonstrating the payment method with manual. Check uh, payment method will be demonstrated through another video and NACHA is a payment method that is used in European sites. So when you save the vendor batch payment, order will automatically create the reference number for the vendor batch payments. Now you can add the batch content. So let's check uh, are there any payments to add under this batch. So click on add a line so that you can see number of payments are there. So let's check how to create a payment. So in order to create a payment, you can go to the vendors tab and you can choose bills. Now when you click on new, you can fill the details of the vendor and you can fill uh, the bill date. You can also give the invoice lines with the product. So let me add a product. So you can choose a product that is customizable desk uh, and let me set the price as 700. Let's confirm the bill and you can click on register payment. Now you can see the journal that is used and the payment method and the amount. Now you can click on create payment so that you can see that now the bill is in in payment state. Now when you back to the batch payments and try to add the content uh, you can see that a payment will be added under uh, this batch. So you can see the uh, payment that is 700 is added. So currently in this batch we can see that all the amount is set to negative. Why is it so? Because we know that when the bill, in case of vendor bill, the amount will be moving out of the account. So in such cases the amount will be indicated as negative. Now you can choose the payments that to be added under, under the batch. So batch will have multiple payments. So let me choose uh, two payments. That is, uh, yeah, a payment with uh, minus 100 and with the amount minus 5. Now you can select the payments and you can save the batch. So currently the batch is in, in new state. Now we need to reconcile the batch. So in order to reconcile, you can click on validate. Now you can see that uh, the batch has moved from its, its new state to send state. So in order to reconcile, you can get into the dashboard. Before that, we need to copy the 
uh, reference number of the batch. So we, we know the reference number of the batch. So just copy that. Let's back to the dashboard and you can choose uh, the bank. Now let's create a statement uh, with the reference number as a label and uh, you can set the amount that is you need to give the negative amount so that is negative 105 because we have added two payments under the batch uh, so you need to enter the total of the payments that have added in the batch so you can save and close this so that you can see a batch is I mean a payment statement is created now let me select the statement so we gonna reconcile the statement against the batch so under batch payments here you can see that a batch with the payments so when you choose a batch here we can see the payments uh, contained in the batch now you can click on validate button and when you back to the vendors and choose batch payments here you can see that the created batch is now reconciled and moved to the reconciled state so by using batch payment uh, you can reduce your time and effort by single click of transaction so thank you for watching the video hope this concept is clear for you